This is Tony Poulos. Today I'm with Peter Coleman, who is the Executive Director and Head of Forensic Services for Deloitte in Singapore and Southeast Asia. Peter, welcome. Firstly, I'd like to know a little bit more about forensic services and what Deloitte do in forensic services. It's quite extensive, Tony. The uh, principal thing we're known for is forensic accounting, which is the traditional way in which um, the consulting and, and auditing firms would uh, conduct a fraud investigation. However, uh, in the 21st century, we've moved very much towards a technological approach to um, identifying and uh, remediating fraud. And so in that way, we, we do a lot of work around uh, what we call electronic discovery, where we extract uh, financial data and uh, non-financial data from computers and servers and uh, systems, uh, value chain, supply chain environment and things like that. And then we have uh, specialist groups that then conduct the analysis uh, of that data. So if we're looking for fraud, we might be looking for patterns and trends in financial data um, using uh, advanced uh, data analytic techniques. And if we're looking for evidence to support the financial reporting, we'll look for um, communications between employees and other people in email and uh, documents that they may or may not have uh, prepared. So it's a long way from the old forensic accounting. We still have forensic accountants, they're very important. Uh, however, in my team, only about 30% of all the people who work in it are actually accountants. Fraud is a major problem in the telecoms industry, but is it different from other types of fraud? Uh, telecom fraud has two quite different dimensions. You've got internal fraud and external fraud. And uh, in the, what, uh, 14 years that I've been involved in telecom now, uh, I've come to be aware that uh, the industry generally uh, is quite good at minimising the impact of external fraud. Uh, what we tend to see, however, is that most telecom operators overlook the significant impact of internal fraud, uh, which leads to external fraud. Uh, you can drive it all the way back to the policy decisions that are made at the, at the top of the organisation. Uh, and you can see differences between operators. You know, those operators that are um, you know, driven by the network people, very, very finely tuned to um, the uh, patterns and trends of fraud, whereas those that are, tend to be more driven by marketing, the new operators or people uh, moving into new fields, they tend to be less uh, concerned about those sorts of things. How well are telecoms operators managing that risk? Some, some manage it very well, others tend to uh, perhaps not be quite as well aware of it. Uh, and and you know, we've seen a trend uh, over the last five or six years where I think uh, the recognised importance of fraud detection and fraud uh, uh, remediation uh, has been overlooked uh, in the drive for higher revenue. Uh, you know, revenue assurance has almost replaced fraud as, as, as the thing that you know, most operators focus on. How prevalent is fraud in the telecoms industry? Everybody has it. There's not a single operator in the world, and in Singapore where I come from, we have three you know, excellent operators. Uh, they have fraud. It's small, as most fraud is in Singapore, but even they, in Singapore, such a tightly controlled uh, market where you, know, you can't get an account unless you can prove who, who you are, they still have some fraud. So you know, I guess what I'm saying is that if uh, telco fraud can even happen in Singapore, it's going to happen anywhere. Do you think we'll ever be able to prevent fraud, or at least what extent could we manage it? The ability to manage fraud is very much a matter of the desire of the organisation to take it seriously. And uh, one of the things that we've been doing at Deloitte, not just for telecom clients, but for lots of other clients, is uh, taking them on a journey to show them that if you really understand your fraud, you understand how to get much greater impact for your business. You can extract significantly more value uh, in your organisation if you understand how fraud is being committed and particularly for telecom operators because the fraudsters are the early adopters. The minute any operator introduces a new service or a new technology, the first people to use it are the fraudsters. And they learn how to use it really well. And if you're not looking at what they're doing, not only are you missing an opportunity to stop those fraudsters from committing the fraud, you're missing the opportunity to maximise your revenue. Which, just as to finish on that, uh, fraud was around before revenue assurance was.
and, and, and you know, one of the things that we noticed when we were the fraud guys a decade and a half ago was that we were already doing revenue assurance before the accountants actually discovered it. And it would kind of be nice to see it come back to the point where um, we take a much more holistic view to fraud and revenue assurance instead of people trying to say that revenue assurance will drive fraud. I don't think that's particularly healthy in the industry, but I'm biased because I'm a fraud guy. Peter Coleman, thanks for being with me today. Thank you, Tony.